Welcome everyone, my name is Josh and this is Get Bricked. Today I'm excited because we're checking out something from Mega Constructs again, another one of their Pokemon sets. Uh, we're checking out the Pikachu vs Meowth Showdown. This one looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and very similar to the previous builds we did, but looks like a few extra pieces now for some of the effects that they have when they're fighting. So let's just jump right on in. Finally, the showdown you've all been waiting for. We got Pikachu versus Meowth. Now, this set was a lot of fun to build, and I gotta say, I am loving the fact that Mega Constructs has been going with the printed pieces. Uh, they don't seem to be a fan of the sticker pieces, neither am I. So that's a huge plus that we get so many of them as printed pieces. And these ones were fun to build because they're very similar to the last Pokemon set we got uh, with the Kanto Partners. Uh, we also get a very similar Pikachu, but with a different headpiece, a different print there. And then we get the lightning that you can actually attach on either hand or onto the tail as well. And then on Meowth, we also get a set of claws here. Unfortunately, they only come with the one set, but you can interchange it between the hands. Uh, but it would have been nice if they would have given a second set. But we get a chance to use Meowth or Pikachu in this additional scenery piece at the back. Uh, it actually comes with the a little bit of a mountain there that you can actually perch either of them on. So they can get a bit of a height advantage on their opponent. But these ones look great, so let's just take a closer look. First up, we got Pikachu. Now, Pikachu is basically the same build as we got in the Kanto Partner set, uh, but this time we do actually get him with a different headpiece. Uh, we get the uh, head with the eyes open and the mouth open for a scream, just like he's ready to go for an attack. Now, with Pikachu, we also get the same print on the ears as well as on the back with the brown lines. But just like last time, we do get a fair amount of ball joints that you can use for posing uh, in the arms and in the neck and in the tail. Uh, very similar style tail, though, with the uh, block built, just to give it that lightning kind of effect to it. And we also get this time around an attack feature for Pikachu with a couple of lightning effects, which do look really nice. I'm just sad that they didn't include more. I would have loved to see more of these uh, so you can actually vary up the attacks and change the level of power, maybe. But other than that, the only com other complaint is the same one we had before, where because of the ball joints, uh, sometimes they uh, do kind of leave a little bit of a gap in some of the areas where the joints are. Uh, so unfortunately, it's hard to deal with that when you're working with this kind of a small scale, but still trying to get as much posability out of the figure as you can. So it's a nice touch, but I'm glad to see them with a different print, at least for the head on this one. And his opponent, the dastardly feline from Team Rocket. That's right, it's Meow. And with Meowth, we do get him with a printed headpiece where you can definitely see that dastardly smile of his. You know he's up to no good. And then we also get the printed crown piece as well, uh, where he's always got his jewel on his forehead. And then we do get the print on the uh, outside of the ears as well with the black there. 
And a nice touch that they actually added to the headpiece is they've actually included this kind of rubberized or more softer plastic piece. So you can actually have the whiskers and the hairs kind of move around a little bit. So it's a nice small touch, but I like that they added that little bit of extra detail to it. But with Meowth, he does come with the basic same kind of body with the same amount of posability initially. Uh, we have the neck joint with a ball joint. We have the ball jointed shoulders. But with Meowth, they've actually gone ahead and added some extension pieces to actually make the arms and the legs a little bit longer and make him a little bit taller. Because he's always standing on his hind legs and he's pretty tall anyways. But with Meowth, we also do get the printed foot pieces, so you can kind of see the paws there. And then we also get the tail, uh, but the tail is a little bit limited in its posability. It doesn't have a ball joint, uh, it only has a rotation, so you can kind of wag it from side to side. Uh, but it is multicolored to match the kind of, kind of look of the foot as well. So it's a nice touch and a nice look for the character overall. And with Meowth for his attack, you actually do get this attachment you can put in either hand, uh, where it's a set of claws so he can do his signature scratch attack. Now, my only downside there is that it would have been nice if they included a second set, so you could actually make it look like he's attacking with both hands, uh, going for his giant claw swipes and fury swipes that he likes to do. So that's a little bit of a downside, and the limited pose ability in the tail also a little downside. But for the most part, I like this rendition of the character, and he kind of keeps with the scaling and theming of the rest of the figures as well. And finally, let's bring it down a notch, and let's talk about a rock. Now, this rock is just a nice little piece of scenery that they included here, and we do get a bit of the uh, kind of like overgrown look to it with some of the uh, grass colored blocks coming in there. And then we also have uh, the bit of a perch there on top that you can actually have either of them kind of stepping off of or launching off of for an aerial attack. So it's nice that they included that. I just wish they would have included like another one with a different height or something like that going with it. So you can actually have both of them perched up like they're about to go for a mid-air collision. But other than that, it's a nice little touch that they've even included it, so I'm happy to see that in this. So let's have them square off, and as you can see, uh, the additional attack features that they have and the scenery piece definitely make for a more dynamic kind of uh, action scene uh, for when they're in a battle. And I love the fact that we get uh, so much detailing with these figures and the, the amount of posability we get seeing as they're, how they're just small figures. Uh, that's great to see, and I love the set of these two. But who do you think is the true winner of this contest? According to the anime, it'd be Pikachu every time. But I mean, Meowth is pretty smart, right? So does, do you think he has a chance? Let me know that in the comments down below. Who do you think is the true winner? And let me know what's your favorite Pokemon, and maybe I'll keep an eye out and see if we can find one of their sets as well. But make sure you guys like and subscribe and click that bell so you can stay updated whenever we release new videos. Now, before you guys choose your next Pokemon for battle, just be sure to tell everyone that you just got bricked.